to Liverpool, who are playing Brentford in the Saturday night football. Jurgen Klopp has been speaking to the media in the last hour. Vinnie O'Connor was putting the questions to him, joins us live with that late, late defeat for Manchester United at Brighton yesterday. Vinny, has the door opened a little bit in terms of a possible Champions League place? I think it's slightly ajar, Nick, and obviously Liverpool have the opportunity to keep putting pressure on those sides above them, most notably Manchester United, and obviously this weekend they get the opportunity to close that gap to a point. At the same time, of course, Manchester United clearly have an advantage, and there's also an argument to say don't discount Brighton because they have played two games less than Liverpool, they're just four points behind them. So there's still a long way to go in terms of this race for the top four, and certainly speaking to Jurgen Klopp, it's still very much game by game for Liverpool. They want to see where it can take them if they can keep churning out those wins. At the moment, a, a win of five consecutive, a, a, a run of five consecutive victories, I should say. It's the first time they've been able to achieve that this season. And it's seven games unbeaten now. But as Jurgen Klopp admitted, when it comes to the race for the top four, obviously there are teams in a far stronger position than them at the moment. Other teams are in much better positions. As long as they win football games, we have we have no chance, and we have to to keep um, teams behind us. Which not all of them we, we, we can do it by our own. Like you say, if Brighton wins the, the, all the, all their their games from now until the end of the season, and how they played last night, that's possible. Because again, an incredible performance. To be honest, a really really good football game. Um, no, that didn't change. I, I don't know exactly. We have we have fifty. Nine. 58, 59, yeah, 59. So United has 63. So we can get 71 maximum. United needs for that eight points in five from 15. I, I think they will do that, <laughs> to be honest. So, um, they win three games of the, of the rest, and that's it for us. Good to see him chuckling away. Finney. We understand there's an agreement for James Milner to go to Brighton, which is all but done. And talk of Alexis McAllister going the other way. We know how much managers love being asked about transfers that hasn't happened. What did Klopp have to say? Oh, we should also point out as well, by the way, that Jurgen Klopp has often spoken about not looking at the league table. Well, clearly he has with the maths that he was doing there. But when it comes to that Liverpool midfield, obviously we know that Liverpool are looking to strengthen. We knew of their interest in Jude Bellingham. Obviously, we also found out not so long ago that they were out of the race to sign Jude Bellingham as well. Because in their eyes, it makes no sense to spend all that money on just one player when they're looking to enhance uh, in other areas as well. At the same time, of course, we understand when it comes to James Milner, his future. We know he's out of contract, obviously, in the summer, but we're also hearing that a deal effectively has been done for him to go to Brighton on a free transfer. Now, could we see Alexis McAllister coming the other way? Well, as I said, we know that Liverpool want to improve their midfield options at the moment, but certainly Jurgen Klopp was not going to be drawn on potential arrivals, and he also had no confirmation as to what the future is for James Milner. I had... Over, over the years, in the last few months, really good conversations with him. Um, he knows how highly I value him. He's an incredible part of his team and I would like, would have loved to, to work together with him uh, even longer. But exactly the outcome will be of, of his decisions, uh, uh, or of his decision, I think, at one point. And Millie will say that. I'm not sure that happened already or not. I'm, I'm not really aware of that, but nothing else to say from me, but that nothing will change. He, uh, I've said a couple of times, nothing, what happened in the last seven and a half years would have happened, one of the positive things would have happened without James Miller. Um, and so that's all about that. And all other things, transfer-wise, we <laughs> you get you are the first who so will be informed if something will happen. And as regards his current squad, there's a few injury, uh, a few injury issues ahead of this game against Brentford. Diogo Jota, we know, ahead of that Fulham game, had a bit of a, a back issue. It seems to be a bit of a knock in the rib as well. He could train yesterday. He'll have to see later today how he is. Uh, Bobby Firmino still not back in team training. They hope to have him back in team training next week. So, again, won't make it for this weekend. Thiago, we know, is out for the rest of the season, having to have surgery on his hip problem. Uh, and also Naby Keita not available. The other... Slight issue is Jordan Henderson. They're waiting to see the results of a scan to determine whether or not he can play against Brentford as well.